Hello, welcome to 33014 138th Avenue in Sultan. Um, this is a gorgeous pastoral property. You do have some pretty close neighbors. This guy is here. Here's your driveway, the main road. Um, and I do want to give warning that not a quarter mile up that road is really where you're exiting the outskirts of, of Sultan. Not, um, I mean, Sultan's a fairly small town. It's growing very, very quickly. It's very possible that uh, within five, 10 years, the outskirts of Sultan could, could encompass this property. As of now though, this is just fantastic. There's two other houses there. Really nice, uh, you got your own pond, just so you can see some geese down there. Let's drive up the house, take a look around. Here we are at the house. Nice little circular drive, freshly graveled. Goes to a nice shop, um, just this side of the uh, pond there. Looks like there's some hookups for some RVs. And then this gorgeous little house right on the edge of overlooking the ravine. Down at the bottom of the ravine is a slow moving uh, creek or, or, or river. Um, I don't think it's standing water, but it is very slow. Pretty wide ravine and um, pretty deep too. So we're not, let's go over and take a look. Beautiful spot down there. And you know, it looks, it's pretty natural. Pretty, uh, nothing really um, picturesque about it. But from the house, it's a very beautiful uh, place. Um, wrap around deck, at least on two th uh, half of the house, this side and the front. Oh no, this deck wraps around the whole thing. We'll go look at that over there in a little bit. Furnace is outside, uh, the gas furnace. Some really nice touches on the door. Really nice touches on the door here. Entry door, you enter into the living area. Nice little family room, dine-in table. Moving into the house, we have a slider into the kitchen, galley type kitchen. Another dining room table with a wood stove. Very nice centerpiece. All new appliances in August of 2022. Sunroom here, enclosed sunroom. Door to the outside. Ramp down. This is the backyard area. Again, nice warm enclosed sunroom right here. Through these double doors is like they have this set up as like a game room. It definitely could be a bedroom. Has a closet, double doors out to the back deck. Laundry room off this area. Commode and a sink, I do believe. And then water heater is behind here and a little storage area and washer and dryer hookups. Another door out to the back deck. There is a double door out to the back deck from the game room area. This is a nice, big, expansive deck. There's the shop. Over here we have the cottage. We'll take a look at that in a bit. Maybe the woodshed. Beautiful uh, water feature. 
here on the property. Let's finish up the house. Oh, well, they have a double door from the living area, um, living room area. We have another bathroom. This would be the main house bathroom. That's from the kitchen. And then we have a bathroom here that is a full bath. No, excuse me, three quarter bath. Very nice shower, nicely tiled, commode, and a vanity. So we have the not quite a bedroom downstairs, and then upstairs we have a very slightly narrowed staircase, standard size stairs, up to a landing in which there's three bedrooms off. There's a skylight there. Number one bedroom to the right. Baseboard heating. Half closet. Sloped uh, ceiling on both sides. The second bedroom to the left of the stairs is very, oh I was going to say it was similar but no it's much bigger. We have the main area here. And it's got a kind of a cubby hole here. Um, no, uh, no, what do you call it? Um, a closet up in this bedroom. Definitely would need to put a uh, wardrobe of some sort. Then over here we have the master bedroom. Master bedroom has a nice little. Uh, gas, uh, propane uh, fireplace. That's a king size bed there underneath the window. And then a three quarter bathroom here. Shower. It's nice and the skylight. Small little vanity in here. Lots of mirrors. And the commode. Off the master bedroom is a Juliet patio, maybe even a little bigger, regular patio. Really exceptional views. Let's go take a look at the cottage. Here's the cottage, very cute. Nice little uh, little cottage. Looks like it could use some cleaning. There's a little bit of a dirt spot over there, but it's just really, really cute. It's basically a one bedroom apartment, really. Open the door, there's a loft up there. Looks like they uh, rent this out as an Airbnb. Small, small little kitchen area, little fridge, microwave. Very nice. Bathroom, has a shower in it. On a commode. Bedroom has a radiant wall heater. Nice big closet. Again, this is a king size bed, I believe. And it has a little door out to its own patio. Again, just very, very cute. Overlooking the water again. You know, the more I look at this, you look at down here, that is definitely a stream. This is a lot higher. I'm wondering if it's beaver, if this is actually a beaver dam with the water flowing in that direction. That's why this is all still. And down there you have a flowing stream. Interesting. Let's go upstairs, take a look around. This one I'm guessing is just gonna be a loft up here. Kind of steep and small stairs, just hit my head. 
Yeah, you just got a little kid's loft up here. This would be make a fantastic small cottage, Airbnb, a uh, single person home. I love it. Let's go take a look at the shop. This place is just full of surprises. This shop is about the nicest shop I've seen. Um, oh, maybe there's one or two others, but you know, you come into this nice area, has a heater here, um, laminate flooring, definitely feels like an office space or it could be used for a clean workroom. Office space, there is a, oh, another little room, a door into the garage. Could be a storage room. Here's a bathroom with a sink and a commode. Then we have another room. Just look like it's just slightly unfinished. Uh, I don't know what they were doing, what they planned to do. Definitely could be a paint room, windows, doors. And then you come into a garage. Again, this garage has hookups for, uh, looks like water, possibly pneumatics in the walls. Another furnace. Um, rolling door, big rolling door. We have an upstairs to the loft. Or you're going to have just storage. Definitely tall enough to stand in. Oh, there's something more over here. Let me take a look. So storage. I'm standing tall. Oh, okay. More storage above here. Just really a lot of thought went into this building for sure. As we come down to the right is that room that we, you know, there's the original room we came in at and then this room I showed you. And then look at over here, we have a loading dock. I mean, really big door there. Again, not a, uh, it's a manual lift door, storage on the sides and a loading dock. Crazy. Then we have another door here. This is a slider with all the electric as well. That goes to a generator. Let's take a look outside. Oh, that cord went to the generator. That was to their RV here. And again, this is going to end up being a long video, but there's a lot of features in this house. A lot of stuff to look at. Oh, look at that. They got something easily a picnic spot or something you could have by the pond. I haven't seen the septic. This may very well be the well house or no, this is going to be a playhouse. I bet you. Yeah, this is just a playhouse. I try and go nice and slow. I know when I'm moving the camera, it makes everyone in the world sick. Property that extends to the road there. Kind of see some neighbors. And then I believe that we're back to this fence line here. So not extensive on this back of the house, but it's really the side and the front of the house where all the property is. That's where your loading dock is. Garage here, lean to. Kind of a carport thing going on there. Electrical hookups there, possibly septic as well. Yeah, you got septic there. And electric, no water. Just real nice. Everything about it, I love it. Fruit trees, I don't know what they are per se. But thank you very much for walking with me. This is William Chapel, 
358-9567.